Hey guys, and in today's video, let's take a look at three-way floating hand grip from SHU company. So in fact, this accessory is like three-in-one product, as it can be used as a short selfie stick that has foldable arms, and you can also use it as a camera grip that's gonna float in the water. But you can also use it with a small tripod to take a photo or record yourself. So inside of this package, we have a floating camera grip with a small lanyard, a foldable arm and aluminum screw. So there's also a detailed user guide on what's inside and how to use the product. And a black carry case for storage and protection. So if you want to use this accessory as a selfie stick, then you have to attach the foldable arm to the grip. So let's do this. So this is how SHU 3-Way looks like when it's fully assembled and the foldable arm allows you to extend your selfie stick up to 22 inches. That's gonna be around 56 centimeters. So the cool thing about the design of this accessory is that you can actually fold the arms of it in a way that you won't see a selfie stick in your shot. So it's gonna be great for vlogging when you don't need that uh, full extension so this is how it looks like when SHU 3-Way is folded. Notice that you cannot see that selfie stick in the shot and no matter how much I move it, you simply cannot see it. So as I said before, this is gonna be good for vlogging or traveling before, because you don't need that full extension. And if you want to do some activities with it where you want that camera further back to have a wider perspective, just unfold it until it makes a nice straight line. And this is how it looks like when 3-Way is fully extended. Notice that this time you can see it in the shot, but it's gonna be good for all sorts of activities when you need that wider perspective, that wider field of view. And you can get quite creative with it for example, you can bend it for a low angle shot, having that camera much closer to the ground. Alternatively, you can fold it up and hang it somewhere to record the time lapse. And when it's folded, it's gonna be around 8.5 inches, so that's gonna be roughly around 22 centimeters. So it's a bit more compact and you can use it as a grip pretty quickly. However, notice that it's a little wider now. Now, in this part of the video, Let's focus on the floating grip itself. I must say that's probably one of the lightest camera grips that I have ever tested. It's made up of carbon fiber material mixed with some aluminum. And if you throw it into the water or accidentally drop it in there, this thing gonna float on the surface. So it's really a nice bonus to have. Now, if you take a closer look on the handle itself, notice that it's quite thick and there's enough room to hold it with both of my hands. The surface itself is relatively smooth and I just wish it was a little bit more ergonomic. Now, at the very bottom, we have a lanyard so we can wrap it around our wrist for extra peace of mind that we won't lose our camera. Now, if you unscrew the bottom part, notice that there is a hidden tripod in it. And the cool thing about it is that you can use your camera with the tripod itself or you can use it with the handle to get a higher perspective. And it's gonna be good for taking photos or recording a video, but it's not gonna be super steady for recording a time-lapse. Overall, this tripod feels quite delicate. It's a nice bonus to have if you don't have a tripod but don't expect too much out of it. Now, at the very top of this floating grip, there is an aluminum GoPro connection that can be unscrewed and underneath of it, there is a hidden quarter inch thread. So you can connect a camera to it or some other accessory if you want to. Now, at first glance, you may think that it's almost a direct copy of the first generation of the original three-way from GoPro. GoPro has recently redesigned the 3-way, so depending where you live, you may find either the old version 
or a new one. Let's talk briefly about the pros and cons of the SHU 3-Way compared to the original 3-Way from GoPro. So first of all, it's a bit longer than the rest of the selfie sticks and it can also float in the water, which none of the rest can do. And it also has a much bigger handle, but you don't have a solid grip on that. GoPro 3-Way has a really ergonomic handle, which is just right when you hold it. Your hand won't travel so smoothly and at some point it's gonna stop. Now, let's talk about the joints for a moment. So as you can see, it's easy to unfold it and fold it back in place, but with a camera on it, it feels a little bit too loose. As you can see, the whole arm is easily falling down under the camera's weights when the knobs are loose, so you have to constantly hold it with one arm to support that weight. Whereas 3-Way 2.0 from GoPro is really stiff. Even when you loosen the knobs, that arm won't move, which makes the adjusting the angle that much easier. When you tighten it up, you really have to make it a tight fit so just make sure that the screw is really all the way in, otherwise it's gonna move. So to summarize it all, I will say that this is a great 3-in-1 product if you don't already have a selfie stick, a grip or a tripod. I will say it's a good starting point because you don't have to buy 3 different accessories. But even if you have accessories like that, maybe you simply want to save up some space in your camera bag and have something more versatile, then in this case it's gonna be something for you. Other than that, since this product can be like three accessories at once, it's not gonna be as good as a regular selfie stick or a tripod for the job. And for today, I think that's gonna be that's it. If you like that content and you enjoyed it and you learned something from it, then all I can ask you is to give this video a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, smash the notification button so you don't miss any future content and see you guys in the next one. Bye.